Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lee Time. Today, I'm gonna do a experiment to comparing different heat source, the difference of the outcome, like the products we make, the hydrosol, and what the heat source, the power of the heat, make a difference. So I'm gonna compare between the fire, the gas stove. I put it a high, medium setting, and a second, I use a one kilowatt hot plate and uh, meanwhile i want to show you how i do the experiments from a preparation and uh, and uh, collecting the samples to make unbiased uh, conclusion so when i'm doing these experiments comparing a and b so i try to make them the same factors so i use the same amount of the water same quality water i use the same amount of herb in the steamer and uh, also I use a small sample collection beaker I'm going to collect 500 milliliter of the hydrosol as I re recommended when you're using the KD5 that's how much the hydrosol we're gonna make so I use five 100 milliliter beakers so I got a five samples for this whole process and you can see the change with time of this five hydrosol made at a different time point. With the KD5, I normally recommend to get a 500 milliliter the hydrosol. So that's why I have a five 100 milliliter beaker and I will collect the hundred, first 100 milliliter and the second third, fourth, and five fifths so until I finish the 500 milliliters. So for this case, I can see their color change from the first one to the fifth one. And I can also compare with the next experiment. So now my whole thing's ready. I gotta start the distillation. This is a notepad. I record the uh, major the data, including how much water I have, lavender, and how long it took the boiling, the first drop come up. And I'm going to write down the first 100 milliliter of hydrosol and how long it took for me to collect that many. And I keep going for the all five 100 milliliters. Using the gas stove is also an efficient way to make hydrosol. By using the KD5, you can make a 500 milliliter the good quality hydrosol. Overall time, it took about 30, 35 minutes in, from the beginning, uh, turn on the heat until you finish collecting the 500 milliliter the hydrosol. It's pretty good. With the gas stove, the one of the major differences you gotta need a more cooling water. You gotta prepare more ice cubes because the heat is so fast, so it has no time to dissipate into the air or your environment. So you have to keep adding more ice cubes during the process. You probably gotta need seven to eight times during this 500 milliliter sample preparation. But if you're using a hot plate, that I'm using the one kilowatt, you're gonna use way less. You probably just need a three to four times because the heat can dissipate in the air. So our environment is cooling down. It's, that's one of the big difference between this higher heat power and a lower heat power. I have my five group of samples here. The left one is a gas stove and the right one is the hot plate. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'll show you the each pair. I'm using this uh, the test card to 
to see the cloudy and I put it back you can see the gas stove one is a bit of more cloudy than the uh, hot plate and let me move on to all of the rest this is the second one still the gas stove a little bit more cloudy than the hot plate the third one the kind of uh, similar is uh, very close between each other I would say the gas stove a uh, just tiny bit the fourth one is interesting you can see the hot plate one actually a bit more cloudy than the, the gas stove and the last one is also the hot plate a bit more cloudy than the gas stove so for these five samples it makes sense because the low heat make uh, the oil and extraction become uh, mild you know kind of a slow down and that's why when you have a lower heat it take a longer time if you use a gas stove it just take uh, roughly 25 minutes and by using this it almost took like uh, one hour um, but that's the one difference so this one become mild and the smell actually uh, is quite different um, I smell it the gas stove one is more pungent it's sharp and the hot plate becomes uh, more smooth and uh, I like the the gas stove one because they are more general more mild and uh, easy to accept and the gas stove a bit more stronger and that is a reason you know because when you have a high heat the local temperature of the herb is higher so that can make this composition a bit different compared with a uh, milder the lower heat that's uh, another difference and uh, the third difference you gotta do more cooling more frequently recharge the cooling power and you need a more compared with the milder the uh, lower heat this is the gas stove and this is the hot plate and the difference is pretty obvious besides this a, a bit more wetter than this one and if you look at the color and this one has more purple color and uh, I gotta smell it so this one has still have uh, um, not a strong but uh, still having the lavender the scent and this one has almost no scent this is a good indicator so the hot plate one has a better extraction compared with the gas stove so the reason I explained before the lower heat it's uh, gradually it's slow but uh, it take away almost all of the phytochemicals the essential chemicals from the herb compared with the gas stove the high heat one thank you for watching please leave your question and comments if this video is helpful for you please like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel this is dr leo see you next time